Hello YouTube, Matthew Taylor here. Today I'm going to be doing an installation, well, I can't say an unboxing because you can already see it. Just a mere swap of a GoPro Hero 9 base mount. The purpose for doing this is to actually get this little three and a quarter, um, no, three and a quarter, quarter inch, um, screw hole to actually mount onto a tripod sorry it's actually raining here in kingston jamaica and as such with that in mind we're going to go through the show you this process from start to finish so unscrew this so this is a gopro to refer to these as fingers which become pretty handy for the purpose of um, mounting the camera in their traditional mounts but sometimes you may need to actually mount your you would want to mount your camera on a typical traditional quarter inch which there's no actual hole here for this <clears throat> so that's what this product aims to solve i'm i was a little concerned initially the presence of this hole wouldn't this presence of this hole make this area here, which I'm pointing at actually structurally weaker well we'll see uh, my purpose <clears throat> all right let me unbox this so pull this out all right so this was purchased with my own money uh, I've not I'm in no way affiliated with this particular brand or manufacturer let me, let me give, try to give them some credit these are the specifications for well, not specific. This is the address for the company in question. This is the product. This product may even be a rebrand of yet another product. I'm sure manufacturers like Telson makes products like these. I will actually pull this out of the packaging before. So this is. Oh, this is. Okay, this is not magnetic like the original GoPro one, which is a bit of a bummer. It's a bit of a real serious bummer, but let me show you what it is, what it looks like installed. Oh, hold on. The magnets. Oh, my bad. The magnets are actually in on the GoPro itself. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that before which let's see okay no it does not feel that way I hadn't actually tested this product before before now let's get to okay so yeah the magnets are actually on here which is not in this product this is what you get when you buy cheap stuff should have bought something of better quality so i'll just I'll probably opt not to use this but let's pull this off anyway okay i need a proper grip i'm gonna pause the video one sec while i get something so i can hold this better all right so sorry about that here we are back again we got this which seems to be designed perfectly for this so with this now i got torque to be able to pull this off for the purpose of this demonstration now how i use my gopro is primarily on a using their official shorty mount which works great great in the hand but there are times that you just need to put it mounted on a actual tripod like you want to do some long show line let me just pull this so I pull that loosen that one I'm tricky doing this on camera loosen this one too Pull that off, 
Frau. Mission off and out. And then also crack the ones on this side. It's going to be tricky because the magnets are going to most likely attract it the moment you pull it out. Well, let's see. Let's make the best of it. Looks like the factory, it came with some, oh, sorry. Whereas I'm not doing this properly on camera. So this is what, for those of you who may be curious, this is what your GoPro looks like without the mount installed. I mean, with, with the mount removed. For those of you who probably want to do this for a weight saving. All right. Now the question, age old question is the one of these are speakers and one of these are the microphone i can't recall which is which if i do recall i'll be able to make make a note of this in the video description never a fan of working with these small screws What I'll do to save you guys the boredom is to screw it up. No, I shouldn't say screw it up, but screw it together diagonally. Just put two screws and then show you how this functions. So this is what it looks like now installed and attached to a traditional tripod. This is what it would look like. Lock this in place. Lock it in place, and when I say tripod, I mean I would actually be using a real tripod, not this, not this small tiny one here. This is just for demonstration purposes. And sorry, and that's it, folks. Sorry, I have fingerprints all over this thing. Yeah, so this would be the finished product, getting your GoPro on on it this way. So, uh, after a few seconds of looking at it, my question, the age-old question. Would I endorse it? No. And I wouldn't endorse this particular um, mount on the basis that it just does not have magnets. There are no magnets on this uh, on this thing. So when you don't, uh, when you're not using the mount, and you have the, the fingers here, you have to rely on friction to keep keep it up. Otherwise, well, the friction seems to be doing a pretty good job, in all fairness, but. Yeah, actually, yeah, I, I could say I would endorse this one. Let me see how well it actually fits in the... Okay, this feels... It feels... Sorry, I'm just trying to get the thumb screw. Okay, feels as secure as your, um, as the original. I guess I probably can say I didn't endorse it. This is my one pet peeve with this device, though. I would pref with this mount is that I would have preferred for there to have been the magnet to keep the fingers. And when I say fingers, I'm using Go GoPro's turn um, term. So keep these fingers up as opposed to them actually falling down, which I feel they're going to do eventually when they just get used or worn out. But I guess all in all, they are pretty sturdy. Not precisely machined, but sufficiently sturdy.
I had bought these because I had feared that I would actually crash, um, I would have actually crashed and broken these mounts on from my all right so i typically use this for the purpose i tip, how i use this sorry is i'd actually have it mounted on a drone uh let's see this becomes self-explanatory at this point and as such up when i'm not mounting it on a drone and i actually want it mounted on an actual tripod i'd actually have this particular hole so i had rec reviewed this with the intention of saying oh no I wouldn't endorse it, I wasted money, but on all, it actually does seem to fit the bill, meaning seem to work, seem to be functional. So I won't bash it. It's actually a pretty interesting product. I still like the feel of the original, but this still allows you to get your fingernail in there, pull this out just the same. And I probably don't miss not having the magnets after all. So you find that these are a bit asymmetric, um, not very symmetrical, but the moment you put it in the mount and you put this, um, the bolt through it, it will be nice and square at that point. So that's all folks. Oh, this GoPro is such a fingerprint magnets.